Right now we're at the side of the Boston Tea Party Museum where crap hit the fan hundreds of years ago over taxes and other stuff that I have no clue about. So I'm heading to this half Comic-Con thing here in Bangor. Uh, one of my friend's brothers just uh, made a comic. It's called Planet Ripple. And I'm going to have it signed and we're going to go and sit down and, and maybe I'll have like an interview or something with him. It's going to be really cool. Check it out. Unconventional story when you consider how you know the hero's journey usually goes, like the ugly duckling. What's what's the message of that? Well, it's, it's that the other ducklings were wrong because he turns into a beautiful swan at the end. Thing is, what if that doesn't happen? What if he stays ugly his whole life? Does that mean the other ducklings were right to pick on him? That they should have? It's kind of the same with autistic people, you know, people like me. You have so many stories, all these these movies and shows about an autistic character who just screw up at almost everything. No one has any faith in them, except maybe those like closest to them. But then they have that one special talent that you know redeems them in everybody's eyes. That one thing they're so good at it makes them useful. Finally, yeah, you know, it makes them worth something. And I, I'm so sick of these kinds of stories because not all of us have a quirk like that. Some of us are just trying to get through the day like everybody else, and we don't have one thing we're, you know, particularly good at. And even if we do, it's like, oh my gosh, you can play the piano. Yeah, that's because that's their interest, like, like anyone else who would. And, well, that's, that's Minnow. Minnow's just trying to survive, you know, like any other person. And she just wants to be appreciated, acknowledged, um, even though she doesn't have one thing that she's really good at, one superpower. She's, you know, she's clever, but that's just, that's just her personality. She gets through the day with just sheer force of will. The thing is, a lot of people think of Minnow as just this, this big dumb kid who doesn't know any better. You know, she's like 25 when the story picks up, and people are still talking about her like she's five years old. Like, oh, you know, we shouldn't let her make a decision like that. We, we need to look out for her. We should do that for her. Because, you know, the second they look away, they think she's going to take advantage of. And she just wants to be, you know, allowed to to choose where her life goes like any adult. You know, her autism isn't some huge hindrance that she needs to overcome, it's just some that she lives with. You know, you gotta live with yourself, so you gotta learn to love yourself. And that's all this story really is. I'm just hoping to spread a positive message that hasn't been said a lot before. You know, just something that goes against the grain. And so far, it seems to be resonating with people, and I appreciate all the support I've gotten. So, thank you, everybody at the Pine State Con. I think this is a great time for me and my friends. And, um, yeah, I definitely want to do this again next year. So, thanks for everything. Right, so 
I'm in Cincinnati right now. I've been here for a few days. Right now, we are Leah and I are at a benefit concert for Mexico and Puerto Rico, and it's just really fun. I'm gonna take you guys inside. It's really loud. They're doing all these different types of um, just dancing and music, and they're about to do a raffle here soon. I hope I win. I put my all my tickets in a $150 Visa gift card. But come on, I'm gonna take you guys inside right now. Going closer. Yeah, they have like this dancing panda out there. So they're doing the raffle right now for a bunch of different things. These are your winners right here. We're gonna win whatever we put our tickets in. I only put my ticket in one bag and it was a bag for the $150 Visa gift card. Leah just won. Oh, here's my win. Three, one, two, one, eight, three. Oh, yeah. I didn't win, but Leah did, and the guy was like talking to her for a while about what she won. Show me. Show me what she won. What did he say? He's the photographer. No, I didn't know you were taking that. Yeah. She won a photo. She won a photo session to get her pictures taken. Whatever it is, I, and the other one I put my thing in for it doesn't have a lot of tickets either. This is what I got. Bye bye, we have no more tickets.
Captain! We've got to dive before the storm gets worse! Not yet! I hear something. I've heard of these. I believe they were called giraffes. What? There's no way animals like this were ever real. There were lots of strange animals like this once upon a time. What are we supposed to call her? She let the former captain die for some stupid doll. Uh, Andrea, I'm sorry. Don't feel bad. You be good, alright? Andrea! It's unsightly. A girl with four stumps. I've got something different in my head. My brain, it doesn't work like other people's brains do. I've probably always been this way. Look, no one on the ship really hates you. They all had this pipe dream that Andrea would come to her senses and be captain again. Am I supposed to pity you? This is your fault, just like everything else. The term Super Piranha carries a fairly obvious implication that these descended from very different freshwater piranhas in small bodies of water on land. My mother says there never was any such thing as land. Of course there used to be more land. We came from land just like you did. I mean, we can't breathe underwater either. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine in the Navy, Lenora Hakes, commander of the Pristody. I've heard about your run-in with pirates. Not just any, but the Barracuda Gang, no less. These pirates are normally men with peg legs and cutlasses. They live like sea monsters waiting to ambush ships like yours. They've given up their flesh. I'll keep this simple. Some very wealthy people have hired us to reserve the new land for them. If you do anything to soil this place, the second I see you piddle yourselves like frightened puppies, I will bury you in that exact spot and mark it with an X for future generations to find. We need something bigger than this to combat pirate scum. Stronger machines with stronger pilots. They don't bother with things like tranquilizer darts or capture goop. These are toys. Like mine and everyone else's here, your life belongs to Barracuda, the Pirate Queen. Your heart beats only for her now, and the sooner that sinks in, the sweeter your lives are gonna be. She was suffocating here, and we let that happen. She began drowning the same moment Andrea did. It just took longer. I don't think Minnow has any business being on this ship. Taking advantage of people like her, it's beneath you. Renora swore you wouldn't be involved in real fights. Good for her. I never promised any such thing. We sort of have our own language. Everything we say means something slightly different to us than it does to other people. That doesn't mean everything we say is wrong. I think Minnow should be allowed to do in life as she chooses. She's an adult. You're not stupid, Minnow. You can think your way out of anything. I'm always disconnected there. It feels like I'm watching some other person's arms and legs do what my brain tells them to. Don't bother with me. Sooner or later something bad will happen to you. I hate this stupid body. You my brain that doesn't work. You are not a burden. You are not a problem. You are not useless or a waste of space, or whatever else people may say. You are a person. We caught her adrift one night. No idea where she's from. You really don't know anything about her? I don't think even she knows. She's nobody. I hear the way people talk about me. They'd say, she shouldn't have to make a decision like that on her own. Someone like her? She could so easily be taken advantage of. And I am so sick of being spoken of like I'm five years old. I don't think there's anything Andrea didn't want you to be able to try if it was your decision. Don't get sucked down. I love you. I don't have any special gifts. I'm just me. Get your own copy of Planet Ripple by going to planetripple.com, as well as Amazon, Kindle, ebook, you name it, they're out there. That's the end of episode three. <laughs>